Hello, YouTube, and welcome to uh, the eighth episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. In our last episode, we went from Virjanagar to Hindustan, aka I can pronounce it. Um, so now we have a bunch of things going for us, and there's no disadvantage for us not to start waging a lot of wars. Um, the major thing is that our administrative stuff will likely go up. And yeah, see, we get a bunch of, um, claims everywhere. Along with cores, I believe. Cores? No, actually, it's mostly claims. So, okay. But we have claims on the entire peninsula. And we'll be abusing them. Using them, I should say. Um, our military power continues to go up, and we're going to push through Jean Corps and such. Incidentally, we'll be keeping these claims until for quite a bit of time. So we need to wait. Well, not quite a bit of time. It will eventually stop. We'll eventually lose them. So we need to um, be effective and press as much as we can while we can press them. Um, our main goal will actually be to push into the a lot into um, the Bengal trade node. Uh, we want to also get a border with Malwam and uh, Mewar and Gurajat so we can start launching invasions over there. Um, um, Mendigar will probably not be very stable of a nation much longer. We lose one stability, but we already are out pretty strong stability supply um, administratively, so I don't think we need much. But, um, yeah. Also, just to note, um, supply limit is... I, I just wanted to comply. I have no clue why we own the star, and yet we're still suffering attrition. Oh, because it's chocolate at the moment. And we have horses. Oh well. Um, with the next military tech, which we will be waiting to go to war until we get... We'll get, uh global supply limit up, which will help um, us during our invasions, which we'll be doing a lot of. And I guess we also need to wait for our um, Indian Abiskyos to um, get enough morale again. How long we have till 810? 55, so it's going to take around till February of next year for us to tech up, and probably May will actually fight. Until then, I'm going to actually um, station, station the Bahari army up in Rishabara. Um Also, our plan will be to vassalize both of the, both Ahmed Nagar and um, Mar Maratha. Um, just to, um, so... Um, we can control them without actually controlling them and save a little bit on coring costs. And actually, and um, since we will be pursuing long-term um, Hindu relationships with them, that will give us a pretty good plus. Also, our money is gradually recovering, so we're going to spend some more money on. Um, marketplaces, actually. Because if there's something I like, it's having complete and utter, complete control over trade in a region. Which will slowly become a reality with um, trade nodes like Cylon, which we really are the only one here. I mean, once we take out um, Sindh and Gurjat, we'll be completely alone. Pretty much, and we can stop the huge drain along and collect even more money. And actually, because I think someone else teched up, yeah, we got a neighbor bonus. We can now um get pikes right now and um invade in December. 
So, combat with, infantry shock, and infantry obscure. We also get a supply limit, so now Bastar should be habitable for our armies. Um, of course, Eris will be upgrading. Um, we, if we, um, when we switch to Arbiscure, um, we'll be getting one more fire, one more shock, and some shock defense, and also some morale damage. So, this is essentially a very powerful. We are um, now, if we look tech-wise, very. Ha um, we're almost dominant tech-wise. We should be able to blow these guys away in combat for a bit. Um, we'll take the free temple. I'm confident we'll be able to get a new heir. Uh, sad we lost that one. Because I was... I like that heir, but I'll take a new one. But it will take some time, and we can wait. Fortunately, our ruler... Oh, Hindu zealots. I'm sure they'll love the fact that we are... Um, launching our own excursion. So Marathas managed to take one tiny little province. Um, which, I guess that's their own thing. So we're going to declare just conquest on um, Garjat, since it's our the primary war goal. Uh, we will be going to war with um, primary. It's essentially going to be um, Jaunpur's army plus send um, plus um, what's reinforcement and send eventually gets to us. And to be honest, I'm not really that worried. I mean, our fleet will probably take a tiny beat, a bit of a beating, but we'll easily be able to beat Jaunpur. Essentially, send especially since we're pretty powerful of a nation. How's the conversion going? Yeah, so we're I'm hoping actually to take at least um, up to Bunkulkand and Jarkhand. Um, realistically, we probably won't get these provinces, but. Hey, it's the uh, idea that makes me hopeful. Diplomacy, um, from the bet, if we look, um, what? And I think it's, I'm optimistic about our possibilities. Um, yeah, see, we can't actually vassalize Omnigar if they have more than three provinces. So if we were to vassalize them, I would probably take um, Surat um, and both of the Barars. Of course, the Hindu zealots are our enemies during the war, but the tat the combat with and the um, unit improvement—it's just It's un. It's nearly impossible for the AI to actually beat it. And we also, in, we also should be able to siege this province down fairly quickly. Oh. So now, um, Malwa declared a conquest, which I think is very stupid. And... All their forces are now um, working against us. Um, to be honest, while it, the numbers look like we're even, because of our tech advantage, it's not even close. So, Omnigar, I don't know what they're up to. Yay, friends playing games. Anyway, um... So if we, um, look... 
Mandela, Mandala, Mandla is, um, should go down rather quickly and we can move on to Makoshal. Um, we want to completely occupy, um, Jeanpur and then, um, take as much as we can from their southern holdings, like I said before. Um, I don't really care about aggressive expansion because these guys hate our, well, Delhi doesn't hate our guts, but that's because Delhi likes us. We'll hate our guts once we take stuff, and once they become a target of our conquests. But, um... We can just mind that. Our military score is also starting to go up, and we should consider building more buildings. Um, might as well f finish... No, I did not want that, actually, believe it or not. Okay, we finished paying for it. We're going to dis we're going to disband these cogs. We don't need them. Once they end up in the same place, um, we're going to want to merge these two fleets because they're kind of doing the same job and it's safety in numbers. And now we see the um, armies of Jaunpur. Um, they're moving against our one of our armies. Um, I don't know how this will go. I mean this army doesn't have a leader so they have that but on the other hand um, we could pull a mirror. They well, well no let's see the battle. Um, right now we're doing fairly well for not having the leader, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily drop some troops and uh, move in to provide some reinforcements and destroy their army. And yeah, we're since we have better troops we're um, dealing a lot more damage. Even though, um, they of course had a better score. So yeah, while we lost around five... Is that five? Yeah, that's... Oh, we actually lost around 4,000 troops. They lost nearly 6,000. Um, total. Among both of them. Not only that, but we got some prestige and military tradition out of it, which is nice. Anyway, let's send our army back to Mandla to, um, finish sieging there. Which now we have a 0% chance of winning, but that's the best we can do. Um, they're also- we're also preventing a coring attempt. Marathas wants our core, our um, provinces, which I don't blame. It's a uh, at the mo. If um, I had such a large neighbor, I would want to plot and gr organize a group against him. And looks like they're at it again and trying to send and sin sending their army again to try and um, win. And they may do it. If they get good enough rolls. Since I don't have the troops to commit. I don't want to. Um, let's commit. Select army. Okay, the army will have to retreat probably. Or not. Haha. -ha. So um, by doing stuff like that we can actually do a lot. And while they do get even more army tradition. We um, killed around a thousand of we killed more troops of theirs than they did of ours. And they're suffering horrible... They're also suffering attrition. Now ho hopefully our manpower will be able to um, feed in enough to um, replenish um, both of our armies.
And now, um, Jeanpour is sending its forces out. Let's see if we can, uh, force him to stay put. And now we got him trapped, and we should be able to easily, um, just wipe out their army. Once y'all have saved them, of course. Well, while we rolled very well in the beginning, we're just massacring. They were, we were massacring the troops. So yeah, and this battle was probably the most devastating to them thus far. Um, they lost around 5,000 troops, and they won't be getting those troops back. And well, we do it. We actually are high enough for exhaustion-wise that we could lower for exhaustion via reduce option. Nice. Um, our siege is progressing well, um, and that should work out. We're going to occupy Jarkhand now, while we send more reinforcements to the front. Where they're going exactly, uh, I don't know. Looks like it's going to both, but... That doesn't matter much. We are, um, a loan is coming due. Okay, we'll go and repay our, pay our other loan now. So we don't have to worry about it, though we still have to pay the interest. Or we don't have to pay the interest, maybe. I don't know. The point is, is that that's one less thing we have to pay for. So we'll um, have our um, Garjat army take over the Season of Shark Hand, so we can uh, move on to more interesting pastures. We'll of course ignore um, the people saying our uh, production is church as well, essentially since that will hurt our administrative power, which is not very good. Jeanpour is invading Mal Malwa, Malwa, which I have no clue why they um, chose to declare war. I was moving in to save, well, not to save them, the conflict, but whatever. Actually, since they'd accept diplomatic, um, annexation, I mean, um, vassalization, I'm going to, um, start making, um, work, um, ties to, um, vassalize them. Um, we need a military alliance, relationship, the same religion and such, so we can, um, send pro people to improve relation with our, um, with them. Um, we'll send our army in because I'm betting, I'm betting if we ask, they'll give us military access and we can, um, go provide aid to their forces. Which incidentally also um, froze our relationship even higher. And since they are under siege by um, Jeanpour, um, we're actually taking care of um, two birds with one stone. Since this is most of their forces right here. Or the rest of their forces is probably more accurate. If we roll better, which I hope we do. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we lost the battle, unfortunately, um, just due to poor rolls. Um, that is actually will be a frequent thing. We'll retreat to Malwa and um, have let our uh, manpower and morale recover. We didn't do much, and unfortunately I'm betting they're going to try annexing um, Malwa, which we can um, try re um, releasing. Wait, how much 
how many diplomatic relations do we have? Yeah, we'll um, go offer a um, royal marriage to uh, Marathas and start working on um, vassalizing them at least. Fortunately, our other army, I think, is mostly reinforced. So, um, all reinforcements will be sent over to, um, the army here. So we are, are about even. Um, oh, and they got next, yeah. I was afraid this was, that was gonna happen. Um, something's happened, someone... Okay, we're winning. We won! Oh, we lost, actually. Wow. But we also uh, managed to cripple that one. So we'll also force release, uh, we may, we may actually be worth more time to force release, um, a few nations in terms of saving on coring costs in the long run. Yes, but unfortunately we lost one of the nations we were courting for uh, royal marriage. Yeah, I don't know what they think they can... Okay, now they are backed by an army, I can see. And we're doing... And yeah, we just cr destroyed their army because they um, got... Um, they were too, um, they assumed they could easily, um, beat our army. Which, unfortunately, now they can because it's beaten. But we can, um, send reinforcements to try and, um, provide backup to our general. Except they also have more forces. Wow, they have a lot of forces running around in their nation. And send, yeah, Sin's the one sending those reinforcements. Unfortunately, they forced us to retreat all the way back to our, deep in our territory. Um, we're actually, once we take this province, I'm going to hire a new leader. Just to lead him, hopefully, into someone decent at combat. Come on, take the province. Okay. So, we'll go to our military screen and hire a new general. Now, we'll be slow, we'll very much slow down our military power income, but we need more generals. Wow, that's a terrible general. We're gonna well, just fire him on principle. And yeah, that's a much better general to um, lead our forces. So we'll do what we can, we'll take out um, Mewat's forces, while ours um, flees all the way down here. And we've caught their forces, they uh, won't be able to escape in time, so um, that's very good news for us. Um, it, I wouldn't expect them to do very well. We do have a much, uh, incredibly good general. We'll lower taxes. We don't want to provoke a, um, revolt at the moment. And we wipe out the army, their army. Unfortunately, um, we actually have Hindu zealots. Well, they're working for Omnigar, but, um, they will provide some support. Here, what uh, nation could I root? Galawar. So, currently in the peace deal, we could choose to take all of these since we have claims. We also want to consider what nations can we release. 
Um, we can release Mewar, which will make uh, New Three Province minor. Um, we'd have to not take as many provinces. Um, and I think actually this is the most worthwhile um, demand we can make because with if we do it, we um, create a, a friendly three province minor, and that's always nice. Um, the main issue with it is that we won't have access to start attacking other ones. So we'll have to feed our conquests off of Hindus. Which I'm fine with. We can um, go and attack Omnigar. Fortunately, um, our enemies don't near have nearly as good um, military tech, so they're facing serious attrition damage right now. While our um, manpower is starting to rebound. And let's start moving this army back up to um, engage enemy forces again. So, unfortunately, we um, did a river crossing. I almost everywhere in this region is a river crossing. Um, wow, really quickly we lost all our morale. I don't know how this is going to go. Probably, yeah, we're going to lose. And Now this army probably will be sent on a huge retreat. Yeah, see, it will be... And that's the one thing I'll admit I do hate about retreat is that it forces you to make an unreasonably long retreat path. Unfortunately, our forces have reinforced it to be a pretty strong army again. So we'll go and make our attempts to wipe out the Sindhi army. Um, though our infantry suffered horrible casualties, we did manage to defeat the force their forces. So we'll launch a pursuing force. Hopefully we can um, do some good in, against and kill more units. Which I always like doing. Yep, and we wiped out the um, army of Sindh. And we get quite a bit of army tradition, military tradition from that. So... Now what we're going to want to do actually is to increase our manpower as much as we can. Because while we do, it's tech, our tech is only temporary, we can boost our manpower to um, keep our forces reinforced. Since we shouldn't need much more than these armies if we um, fight smartly. And this should end um, the Jeanpurian army. These... Um, ability to a fight. Since we have a minor advantage, if we get a major advantage, we'll do some pretty heavy casualties. Um, we are winning morale-wise. Unfortunately, we're getting horrid rolls, as we always seem to do. Ooh, against, um, actually fighting the main army. Um, fortunately, we did win and inflict some pretty heavy casualties. Um... They're fleeing to Bunklohan, um, and we're actually going to follow because why not? Um, we're also going to start taking Mushkal, and um, hopefully if we occupy um, these three provinces, we'll be able to more easily um, get um, that nation released, and we can uh, fo still focus on the Muslims. Okay, so now that we got um, that morale boost, we're going to try making a, a killing blow on um, the army. We'll leave this army here to siege. Fortunately, we're, it's, we're effectively taking over the siege they had running. So, it works out for us. Okay. 
Okay, um, their army was forced to retreat again. Unfortunately, army is locked down um, due to very low morale. But um, we keep kill whenever we kill a lot of their troops, it helps us. So we're I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Apparently they did not have a military alliance and they just renewed it. Um, Timurids are starting to fall apart more, I think. Maybe. Supply shortages are really actually adversely hitting, um... I mean, not supply. Um, manpower should really start hurting them soon. Especially since we're doing so many seizures. We, um, completed three seizures against them. Reducing their overall provinces. Though they're definitely the m biggest non-Hindu um, power. Delhi is just crossing over to kill Hindu zealots. Which I'm fine with. I don't really care what Delhi does. As long as they don't do much to us. And they have their first um, nationalists. And actually it's good we're sieging up here in Gerd because um, we have a missionary here. And we don't want to have to convert it, um, because that would be even more of a pain than you'd think it would be. Just a little bit more time and we should um, be able to take Makashal. I'm actually hoping we um, finish fighting um, and dealing damage to um, Jean soon. Just because um, it's really th this war has taken a huge number on our manpower, um, and though we're kind of recovering, it's still pretty much in free fall. Fortunately, um, they've kind of wasted some of their forces um, fighting these peasants, which they really can't afford. If our influence and their territory. So we'll go and now with our um, force that's about double theirs, we'll go and try to finish them off. We're going to ignore them. Um, I think we're overdue for revolt. Yeah, we are. So I'll go um, lower revolt risk. Peasants are at the moment the ones freaking out the most in um, Cylon, due to the fact that we are conquering them. <laughs> anyway. Um, our f yeah, I am predicting that we'll be able to easily beat them in this battle. Yep, we did, and we wiped out another 3,000 of their forces. So if we move um, to Bihar, we should be able to finish them off. And get a killing blow. Which is nice. Very nice. They're still retreating, actually, so we're going to head to Kathmandu, so... They can't fully use the forces they have. And they've ceased retreating, so I believe the moment we get here, we should easily just kill who's left, or kill a couple of people left, and wipe out the rest of their army. Um, we can now, uh, I'll now send someone to start sieging their capital. And they, we have nationalists that rose up. Wow. Yeah, I don't blame you, nationalists. I understand you want your independence, you want freedom! Um, but we're working on that right now, to at least start easing the pain. And wow, we have huge Mawari um, nationalists, actually. We may just choose to take provinces and let them um, fall to the huge amount of nationalists that are starting to hit their nation. And we have the Ood nationalists in the north. We have... It's going to be a mess here. Um, we'll send a force to, Bo to capture Bunkelhand. 
since I think once we take Bukahond and Janpur, we'll um, demand these four provinces, and that will probably work out for us in the long run, since um, Malwa will be declaring its independence probably fairly soon, the moment it um, manages to control all of its provinces. And Ood will um, be owed, whatever, however you pronounce that, sorry. We'll um, take it, and if I click religion tab, Ode maybe would be Hindu. Actually, it probably would be because the province is Hindu. And so we probably would, uh, I think it would be wise to vassalize both uh, Malwa if it declares its independence and Ode. Um, even if we can't really annex them immediately, it would pay off in the long run with actually being able to control them. Do we have an heir? We do not. I'm actually hoping we get one soon. Um, the, they're starting to organize huge armies of mercenaries to try and take back some of the land that I occupy. Since um, it's partially part of the reason they're... Yeah, they're dead man walking. They're going to be crushed by a bunch of um, nationalists. And actually, it looks like Mal Mawari um, nationalists are um, inside um, Jean Fort. Um, uh, are inside um, Malwa. And we may want to actually launch a, cou a counter to um, defeat them because. Um, if they grow larger than three provinces, then we won't be able to diplo-vassal them. So, diplo-vassalize them. So yeah, they've assembled a pretty big force thanks to a bunch of mercenaries they've been hiring. So if we can um, defeat these, yeah, which we just did, um, it will give us some plenty of prestige which will help with our legitimacy. And it will also um, pretty much wipe out the last hope. And we'll um, we can go send. Um, let me talk to Malwa um, and ask for temporary military access. We'll cancel it once we um, finish. But we want to get rid of um, these forces. Because they're a seeking ship, and especially with um, the large amount of people occupying their nation. I mean, if we look, the rebels are soon going to take um, this province. We're going to take a good four of their provinces, hopefully. If, actually, if we're really smart, we'll also be, if we're very lucky, we'll be able to take Bunkelheim too, but... Now, what we could do is actually um, release... Um, Mewar early and prevent them from being nation their nationalists from taking um, and declaring independence. And we may end up doing that. Let's take out. Nah. I'm okay with that actually. Yo, guy. Chill out. I'm cool. We just need to take their capital here, and siege-wise, um, we hopefully will get that soon. We take their capital. They're actually now pretty much unable to refuse any demands we make. So we're going to take... They it will not accept because our demand exceeds war score, and while they're suffering, they do not want to give up yet. Which is fine by me, actually. I'll, I'll gladly um, occupy more provinces. Yeah, but um, the advantage to vassalizing them is that um, that's money we don't have to spend for. And if I um, recall looking, I mean, we have a base tax of four, we have two, 
we have four. That's a lot of administrative points we'd have to spend. Which, to be honest, if we don't have to spend it, I don't see any reason to spend it. Yeah, their entire nation's falling apart. I don't know where they get that they can actually pull off a victory here. Well, they don't want to give me four pro- um, sorry, not four, three provinces. Especially because, um, well, I don't blame them. Um, I, but I do want to not only release Malwa so they don't um, do any more harm, they can let Ood do the harm, but um, we don't want Malwa to do it. Um, let's select army, detach the sieging group, and launch a force. Before their armies manage to uh, take over um, and reclaim their capital, of course. Now, um, because to speed up the sieging calendar, we're actually going to start carpet sieging the enemy. It's uh, going to be pretty expensive uh, manpower-wise, but it's our best choice if we're going to do anything about the enemy. Unfortunately, certain sieges like Katmandu probably will never go anywhere because, um, for, well, okay, actually has a 42%, I'm exaggerating, but. Oh, um, the Mawari nationalists are actually move, starting to move into Delhi. So yeah, we do want to make sure that um, we can satisfy their demands by releasing um, Moar, so they don't um, actually um, work and release. I realize Malwa doesn't control Malwa, how funny. We control Malwa now, so we're going to defeat the um, nationalists here, because as much as they've been cooperating, Okay, they should be more willing to accept it now. It's closer, but they really don't want to give up anything, which is unfortunate. Um, we're going to have to take all three of these provinces, probably, to fully convince them that they need to give it up. Yeah, I admire your work nationalist, but you're a bigger threat to my ambition than and your own interests because I want you guys to be vassalized and safe. We have a vassal now. Let's, um, I mean, uh, air. Um, very good at military, horrible at administration. Siege of Bihar, we occupy Bihar now. We'll send reinforcements to Kathmandu. Um, we should occupy that soon, too. If we're lucky. Okay, time to start fighting back against the nationalists. Which are just getting everywhere. They all want to, um... Take it and uh, liberate up their provinces there, which actually will not help them as much as we are. We're offering them servitude in our nation, which in the long run will work out better since I won't have to conquer them and eventually they can um, help us by um, giving us free cores in their area. So anyway, we actually have, um, can build quite a few more armories, I don't know why I haven't been building them. Throw, um, five down. Uh, 
Uh, Manpower-wise, we're still not doing that well. But, um... Hopefully we'll get a chance to recover in between, um, after we re finish this war. We're kind of just waiting for these two provinces, if you can't tell. And we're getting more and more deserters, but just not enough to finally push them over the edge to surrender. Which is unfortunate because I'm pretty sure with these two provinces, they'll accept. Okay, we took over by... Say Rasa, um, leaving only Katmandu. Of course, it's going to be a little obstinate about it. Fortunately, um, siege phases speed up somewhat. But we're going to ignore it because that's valuable monarch points. And we don't have monarch points, so we're going to, well, a lot of monarch points. It's surprising how well they're doing, despite the fact that they've been under siege for a really long time. Almost a year we've been sieging them, and and until we get cannons, we won't be able to speed up sieges much more. Unfortunately, fortunately, sieges um, cannons do provide a well, no um, cannons, like I elaborated earlier, provide a really big bonus in the long run. Um, we are under attack. Uh, yeah. Under attack. Okay, they really want their independence now. We really need this fort to fall right now. But no, we'll just get... And we're going to take a risk and just assault the fort. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, um, we can't let this, um drag on too much longer. Unfortunately, we only managed to kill 100 men. Um, and we didn't take the fort, so it was a risk. Um, unfortunately, since the walls were not... Of course, it falls right after. Um, we're now going to hopefully be able to enforce our demands. We may have to give up a province control. Okay, so they're considering it's a reasonable demand, given that we could give, make a much worse demand. We have the authority. So um, let's make all those nationalists happy by granting them their independence. Of course, we gave up our claims, but... Um, Yeah. Um, as it pretty much says, yeah, we view them as a uh, vassal state already. Um, we're going to be um, working to, to um, formalize that, um, and once we, and what, until we do that, we all won't be happy. Let's get our armies back. Um, we'll have to let our manpower recover. Um, I think this is a good time for stopping. Thank you all for watching. Um, Next time, we'll go start taking care of the uh, coring issues in um, our three new provinces, and we'll continue um, invading up to um, strike at Gurjans.